The following is a presentation of HW Entertainment on their official website and a broadcast on social media. Listener's discretion is advised. It's that time once again for HEW Entertainment Radio. And that's all I got to say about that. Hosted by Jonathan Clark. The beat! The man! You gotta beat the man! Whoa! Be sure to join us in the live chat room during the show. Hulkamania is running wild like it's never ran before. Call us on one of our request lines. If you live in the United States, call us at 1 641 985 7800, box number 3729288. If you're from Canada, have a button call us. Call us from 1 647 724 4194, box number 3729288. Long distance charges may apply in some areas. I've been the world heavyweight champion 10 times. Or you can always drop us a line at MySpace, myspace.com backslash H-E-W Entertainment. And you will rest in peace. Emailing us works for you too. Email us H-E-W-Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I am a wrestling god. J-B-L. J-B-L. And now, without any further ado, here is your host of HEW Entertainment Radio on the official website of HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Law. The champ is here! Comment on our video blogs, join the conversation, and like us. So, so what, what are you, you waiting, waiting for? Log on and listen now. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. We jumped, never asking why. We kissed, I fell under your spell of love No one could deny Don't you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I can never lie Running for my life I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball
you ever say I just walked away I will always want you I came in like a wrecking ball Off the album Bangers, which you can download now on iTunes, one of the most controversial songs of 2013 and the inspiration behind one of the most controversial music videos of that year, Wrecking Ball. Give me your comments on that single and the video for it on our Facebook page by subscribing to us at HGW Entertainment with over 1,000 fans who have subscribed to our conversation. You can follow our show on Twitter at Jonathan Clark one with over 24,000 tweets and with over 1,000 videos uploaded for you and 35,000 channel views. You can subscribe to us at Jonathan Clark 22 and get in on the conversation and if you have not registered an account for the official form of HGW Entertainment through our website you can do that right now by going to our website clicking on discussional form found in the links of our website and then you sign up which takes about 90 seconds to create an account for once you've registered a user account you can join the conversation about anything you find on this website or here on this radio program he was one of the most controversial superstars for the past at least three to four years he was the longest reigning champion of the last 434 days and 25 years that is a quarter of an entire century. CM Punk successfully defended the title against everyone from Daniel Bryan through Kane and became one of the greatest WWE champions of the modern era. Now where is CM Punk after being referred to and looked at by many wrestling fans as the voice of the voiceless and the cult of the personality? He is one of the latest releases of WWE walking out on his contract and walking out on every WWE fan. So after being looked at as the cult of personality and the voice of the voiceless, CM Punk is being looked at by many wrestling fans, millions of them, as a quitter. Give me your comments and feedback on CM Punk's departure from the WWE as the theme of this week's video blog on YouTube and our radio archives and our audio archives on our website and our radio forum seems to be controversial. And I do apologize uh, for having controversy be the theme of this week's show for some of the younger listeners who are probably listening to this on YouTube. And if you're listening to us on YouTube, we do invite you to get in on the conversation because this is what the theme is of our video blog this week, controversy, because CM Punk was certainly affiliated with a lot of controversy throughout his WWE career, at least for the last three or four years. He certainly had controversy follow him everywhere he went. I think nobody in the WWE, in terms of someone who worked with the company in the way of an executive, didn't have any idea what CM Punk was going to say from week to week when it came to cutting a promo, especially after his inaugural promo when he metamorphosized from being someone who nobody was giving any attention to into the voice of the voiceless. CM Punk said he was fed up with everything WWE were doing in the way of managing a company, and he was fed up that he never had a chance to be in the main event of WrestleMania because The Rock and John Cena and The Undertakers and Triple H's of the world were taking it away from him, and not just him, but every other mid-card talent in the WWE who were striving to be the best. I think in CM Punk's mind, he was trying to believe that he was the best in the world at everything that he did, and he was simply the best in the industry. He certainly was one of the top five new talent superstars of the past three or four years, and now he's gone from that to having so much negativity thrown towards him because of his departure from the WWE. I think one of the last times we saw CM Punk compete in the WWE was in this year's Royal Rumble match before he was eliminated from the match after spending a considerable amount of time in the Royal Rumble match this year after he was eliminated by Kane. I was expecting Kane and CM Punk to have a feud because of Kane eliminating CM Punk from the Royal Rumble, but obviously the director of operations in the WWE had to do what he had to do when it came to CM Punk because the WWE executives knew that CM Punk was going to be walking out on his contract uh, as soon as things like the Royal Rumble uh, were cleared up. So where does CM Punk go from here? Obviously he's going to revert to going back to independent wrestling. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he showed up in Ring of Honor or Dragon Gate. Gabe Sapowski's doing a great job 
uh, running that, but I would like to see CM Punk back in the WWE. Uh, Vince McMahon has opened up the door uh, for a lot of former WWE employees to return, like Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Kurt Angle, and I would assume that he's going to keep that door open for CM Punk to return to the WWE, given his popularity. He certainly was one of the most popular superstars of the new town that used to be at least for the last three or four years. He was up there with the Daniel Bryans and the John Cena's of the world, and after that incredible seven-match series uh, with John Cena, that really put CM Punk over. CM Punk defeated John Cena in six of those seven encounters. It wasn't until their seventh match that John Cena got one over on CM Punk. And something interesting about CM Punk's promo two weeks after losing to The Undertaker last year at WrestleMania, something that really sticks out in my mind was where do you go from losing to The Rock twice into incredible pay-per-view matches that had a lot of controversy affiliated with them and losing to The Undertaker at WrestleMania. CM Punk himself, much less any of the wrestling fans, knew where CM Punk was going and there were a lot of questions surrounding CM Punk's status with the WWE back then. A couple of months after that, he returns in his hometown of Chicago to cap off an incredible series of matches with Chris Jericho going 3-0 and in those matches against Chris Jericho, making it a trilogy and one of the most impressive matches of the Chris Jericho CM Punk series, which culminated back at WrestleMania in 2012 for the WWE Championship 2.